Hello everybody, welcome back to another Canva.com tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you why I believe this is the best free video editor on the market right now that is not software-based. This is web-based. This is browser-based. This is actually quite remarkable because it's free. It's accessible by, by anybody. You don't have to install any software. It's easy as heck to use, and it comes with a ton of templates which you can build off of and save yourself a ton of time. If you're a gamer, if you're a content marketer, it's it's quite useful. Let me show you a few examples of some stuff that I've done. This one here is just a simple video, like and subscribe, as you can see here. It's only three seconds long, but if you click on it, presto, it's got a little animation on it. These are all examples that I did in about five seconds this video took me to build. This one here took about 10 seconds. Okay, simple welcome to my channel videos. Here's a simple end card for YouTube that I've did up. Uh, another one, press start at the beginning, etc., etc. Here's an example of a video in the background, and then I've got a video in the foreground in here. I've got to subscribe. I've got to put a picture of my dog in there. I've got some shapes, some animations. All of this stuff can be done in seconds. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's start from scratch. Okay, so here we go. This is an example. So I'm just going to go back to the home here. So we're going to start from the beginning on canva.com. Go to their home, then click on create blank. Do note that if you... Uh, if you want to change the aspect ratio, you can, but it starts at 1920 by 1080, which is great for HD for YouTube especially, so and Facebook, but YouTube primarily. Create blank. All right, off we go. Now, before I show you all the different techniques, I want you to do note that there are a bunch of templates that are already out there, and a lot of them are really, really good. Um, I don't really care much for templates in general, but some of these, for example are free and they're really really good like i said so do keep in mind to watch out for this um thing here if you see a crown and it says pro that is a paid for template so you have to pay for it usually it means some of the elements in the video or the background video you have to pay for but at the moment there are still tons of them that are free to use uh, i don't know let's click on this one and see what we get click here to like and subscribe this would be my face the background is not free, so do keep in mind that there are some tricks here that they're trying to pull. If you click on remove watermarks, it says you can remove the premium image, and you can just go ahead and do that. But just keep in mind that most of these are free, so if you see something you like, lots of great templates to start with. Okay, either way, let's go ahead and start building our own from scratch. That's what I promised you. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so the first step is you want to go to Uploads, and then basically you want to upload your video. So for me, I've already uploaded a bunch of different videos, but if you're not sure, you just go to your Finder or to whatever program or you know, Windows Explorer if you're on a PC, and then just drag and drop any video that you want to upload into it. So if I like this one, I'll just drag and drop it in, and presto, on she goes. So that's how you upload video. The same could be said for images. So if you have images, you could just drag and drop them in there. And you can also drag and drop in your own audio, which we can use shortly to make a edited video. The next step is you want to drag and drop in the video that you want to work on. So this one here, I've got this guy vacuuming a forest as you do. So I'm just going to drag and drop it onto the canvas and presto, there it is. Now it's not quite centered. Uh, because it's not quite the right size for 1920 by 1080. So I'm just going to hover over one of these handles on the left side there. And I'm just going to pull it out. If you pull out one of the corner handles, it actually uh, scales symmetrically. If you pull one of these handles here, it will go uh, vertically or horizontally, depending on which one you pull. So there we go. We've got him in the video. And I'm just going to go ahead and center it, something like that. And presto, hit enter, and it will be applied. So there we go. We've got this guy vacuuming the grass, as you do. Right, but the guy's probably hit, he probably had a few too many money's mushrooms, if you know what I'm talking about. So we wanna add in some functions, some features, some animations, maybe some graphics, just some cool stuff, right? So let's start, let's start with some text, okay? So first step, if you wanna add in text to your video, just left click on text. You got three options at the top here, add a heading. So if I click on that, it will just add a heading and you can go ahead and hello and change that. And then you can change its color and font. But I want to show you some of the better stuff. If you want to add in some cool uh, fonts, they've got a ton of font combinations, they call it here. And a lot of them are free. So this one's free. This one's free. If you see, again, if you see the crown with the pro, that means it's paid for. It's, it's not free. But a lot of them are free. And a lot of them are really, really cool. So if this was like, you know, this, this I don't know, let's just go down here and see what we got. This one is free. Okay, uh, that's a little ugly. But all right, let's go with retro. Okay, this one looks like it's free. It is free and it's retro. So if I wanted this to say something like, don't eat 
mushrooms. <laughs> okay, I would do something like that, okay? Then I would select it all, and then I'd be, okay, well, the font size, let's go ahead and change the font size. So instead of 187, I'll just reduce its size to like, I don't know, let's go to like 120 or something like that. I want mushrooms to fit in one line. So it'll be like a, oh God, oops. Let's say 100 and, there we go. All right, don't eat mushrooms, okay? Now, there we go. We've gone ahead and changed the font. I'm gonna show you how to space this out a little bit. So if I just select on this, I'm gonna go ahead and add some spacing. So if I go up to the top here, and this is kind of like a what you see, what you get uh, toolbar, I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the line spacing, okay? So now they're spread apart so that they're not overlapping each other. And I want the letters to be a little bit wider, not too much, but a little bit. Okay, that's all it takes to go ahead and add in text, although this is kind of illegible, but it's just to show you the technique. I'll delete it. Um, if I wanna delete it, I just hover over it and I delete it. Maybe I'll use this one instead, okay? And it says chill. This is how you go ahead and decrease the size. You guys see what I'm doing here, right? We're just adding in text and it's applied to the whole, whole video, okay? So that's how you go ahead and add in text to a video. Now, that said, maybe you want it to animate, okay? Let's take a look at a more advanced technique. You click on the, on the text, like I've done here, and then at the top, you're gonna see the option to animate. Click on animate, and then here are all of the different types of text animations that you can use. There's tons of them. So they really went, oh yeah, like they really went overboard here, but you know what, it's all good. Lots of different cool styles. I'm gonna go with this stomp one because it's kind of heavy duty. So I'm gonna apply the stomp one. And when I click on it, I get the option to apply it. And now if I hit play, there it is. Stomp has been applied. So at the beginning, click play, stomp, cool. Okay, so we've added in text, we've changed the font, we've changed the letter spacing, the letter size, we've changed font size. Very, very easy to do. We've added in an animation. What else do we wanna do? We wanna add in maybe a background for that. We wanna make this into a proper lower third. And in order to do that, we wanna add in a shape that goes in behind chill. Easy to do. I've just clicked on elements and there are tons of elements. A lot of them are pre-built and they are excellent. This subscribe button, for example, excellent. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there. And oh, no, nope, maybe I'll put the subscribe button up at the top right here. I'll resize it and that will remind you to subscribe to the channel. That's really, really useful. Hit play and there it is. But let's say we want it, it's a lower third. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a shape and that's just basically a rectangle. Left click on it and it'll apply a rectangle. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and increase its size, move it down here to where I want it to be, something like that maybe, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull in the corner. And you see guys, this is all it takes to create amazing videos. This is a really goofy color, so I'm gonna click on it, and then if I wanna change the color of that element, there we go, instead of brown, I'll make it, what do you wanna make it, white? Sure, white, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm just teaching you the technique, okay? Presto, now we've got this lower third, even though it is a little bit, rectangular and squarish, so be it. Maybe we wanna add in some other stuff or maybe we wanna add in a second video. Let's do that right now. Okay, so we've got him doing this for 23 seconds, but I don't want it to be 20 seconds long of him doing this. I want it to be 10 seconds. So let me show you how to edit. There's a couple ways to do it. The first one is just, we're just gonna trim it. So I've taken this playhead and I moved it to 10 seconds. Now I'm gonna click on it on, well, no, let's do it again, Curtis, come on. Move it to 10 seconds, if I could just get my chubby fingers to get that right, and I want it to cut there. Now, I'm just gonna hover over the edge of this video, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. So I just basically cut it to that line, and now it's only 10 seconds long. That's how you edit. Now, let's add in a second video. All I'm gonna do here is click on this Add Page, which doesn't sound quite right, but they consider them pages. It's kind of weird, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead, actually, and go to Videos, and I'm gonna go to, you know, let's use a stock video. Do you wanna use a stock video just as an example? Yeah, why not? All right, cool, I'm gonna drag and drop that right there onto the plus sign, and presto, we've added in a second video into it. And this one, I don't want, I don't want the middle part. So I'm gonna teach you a new technique. It's called splitting, and we're gonna take the beginning and the end, but we're gonna cut out a few seconds from the middle. So how do I do that? Take a part where I want the cut to start, which would be at this point, and then right click on this and you'll get the option to split page. There, that's basically a cut. Now I'm gonna move forward to right about here at this point and I wanna split this page as well. Right click, split page. What's happened is, is we've created three sections and now I just delete the middle section and it's gone. So that's how you delete out stuff if you don't want it. So there, we've learned another technique, good stuff. On this one, I wanna go ahead and add in some more stuff. So maybe we're gonna go back to elements 
and I'm gonna add in a sticker, all right? I'm gonna add in this goofy looking sticker and I'm gonna drag and drop it on there and resize it and I'll put it up at the top right here, right? So I'm just basically adding in things that I wanna add. This is all there is to it, to making a video on canva.com, guys. Really, there's not too many other techniques that you need to know. We've split. If you wanna add in audio, let's just go ahead to our uploads. So I'm just gonna go to uploads here, go to my audio track. Here's some audio of nine seconds of me talking. I'm gonna move the playhead to the beginning, and then I'm just gonna drag and drop this audio. Boom, there it is. If I hit play. Uh, hello, everybody. There you go, I've added in my audio track. And if I don't, if I wanna decrease the size, I'll just trim it just like that. And if I want it to start, like let's say a couple seconds into the video, I'm just moving along the timeline here. It's really that simple. If I wanna add in my own pictures, like let's say I've got this picture of a very cute dog named Kingston. This is my bulldog and I love him to bits and pieces. And this is when he was only nine weeks old and he's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. And then I hit play, pictures in there. All of these things, guys, inside Canva, it's an amazing piece of software. It's free, it's got amazing templates. I definitely recommend you check it out. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Got a ton more stuff coming up, stay tuned. All right, the last thing I'll show you is if you want to share this or if you wanna download a copy to upload to YouTube or wherever, you just go up here to the top right, click on share, and then it gives you an option to go ahead to download. Download it as an MP4, select all three pages because we've got three pieces and click download. That's it, it's now downloaded, it's done, it's free. It takes a few seconds to download, but this is amazing software, use it.